last week's episode of Chicken Girls was something else. There were there were a lot of things that I wasn't expecting. There were a lot of things that we were not expecting that would happen. That happened. For example, I was not expecting that you know the Chicken Girls would start quitting the dance team one by one. You know, you can never say actually say the Chicken Girls without thinking of dance because. Chicken girls dance, chicken girls dance, you know, something like that. So you can never think of chicken girls without thinking of dancing and stuff. So after the premiere of last week's episode, which is episode 13, I went through the comments to see what fans are actually talking about the episode. And I found some pretty interesting comments that I found some pretty interesting comments that I'm going to be reading to you, uh, to you guys that I'm going to be talking about. So, the first comment that I want to talk about says, Can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel bad for Eggy. He's caring about Claire, and Claire doesn't care about basically nothing anymore. Mm, yes, Eggy cares about Claire, but Claire actually still cares about something. At least she cares about herself. You know, she's trying to take care of herself. You know, you know she said that she wasn't happy with the way that she she has been living her life you know when she was the student body president that she wasn't happy with that she was just busy stressing herself she wasn't actually taking care of herself so now that's what she's trying to do she's trying to take care of herself but basically she's overdoing it because she doesn't care from the episode we saw that she doesn't care about even what grade she gets in school anymore and that's too much by the way there, there was a reply to this comment and the reply says eggy did lose them both because eggy did lose them both because of his own opinions and his childish behavior but i'm glad to know that he's matured since then and realized to treat both of them with respect um this comment is this reply is trying to talk about is talking about bear and claire you know egg did did bell for some time before claire so this comment is trying to talk about both of them and he also detailed simone before simone and leila became a team so then this comment says i feel so bad for eggy he went from being a total jerk on season seven to just being the sweetest guy now and he doesn't deserve Claire rejecting him especially he was so concerned about her mm. he doesn't deserve Claire rejecting him I don't see any rejection there Claire hasn't actually rejected him he hasn't even made a move again on Claire for Claire to reject him and all that you know but from what we can see he still has feelings for Claire but he hasn't said anything to Claire so Dude, there's there's no rejecting here. There's no rejecting there, right? Yet. The next comment says, Dang, why are you all making Simone and Leila's relationship so toxic? They had so much screen time and so many cute moments together that I loved seeing. Don't ruin it now. I just hope Simone works on herself so that they can be together. Simone work on herself. That was what she was trying to do. Simone was working on herself before Emerson came. We all know that when Simone and Leila, before they started dating, there was things were intense for the both of them before they actually made it official that they were eating. They ran into some, you know, troubles and stuff until you know Simone worked on herself and accepted the fact that she loves Layla, so how working on herself i don't get anyway i know where this comment i know where this comment is going i know where this comment is going simone and Layla's relationship is so toxic the toxic that's where all about you know simone being toxic that's where this comment is actually pointing to but a lot of people say Simone is being toxic. I know she's being too toxic. I know she's toxic. She's she's even being too toxic. But I 
agree with that somehow because I, for me i won't stand by and watch someone that i love so much you know someone that i'm dating i'm in a relationship with you know get taken from me just by someone who just came to school you know something like that but i want to know what do you guys think you guys watching this right now if you were simone if you were in her position what would you do how would you address that situation what would you do would you just stand by and you know watch emma sin take your girlfriend kiss your girlfriend and take her away from you or would you fight for what you love what would you do how would you handle it i would love to know please let me know in the comments because i don't know what else what else to say so this one says don't ever stop chicken girls <laughs> please if chicken girls ends the the world will be over that day <laughs> yeah well we thank so much for thanks so much for thanks thanks for so much likes i appreciate oh i think this the person that wrote this comment is trying to be dramatic it says if chicken girls ends the world will be over. <laughs> the world will be over that day please the world is not the world is not going to end every good thing comes to an end every good thing comes to an end so chicken girls ending doesn't mean that brad tv has a lot of series that has good vibes for example crown lake yeah crown lake is uh, the premiere of crown lake is coming uh this yeah next month which is april on april 12th that is when the the series is premiering that's the season three of crown lake is premiering so crown lake is a good a good series that has a good a good vibe a mystery vibes actually for example we don't still to today we don't still know who header is we don't know who header is so brad tv have you know kept us in the dark we don't know who header is we can't even guess i can't even guess who header is right now so there are a lot of basically all all brad tv series has that gen z vibes it's all about gen z so there's a lot of they, they have a lot of series out there that has good vibes so the world won't basically come to an end if chicken girls end but well, i get i get i get what this comment is trying to say we will we will miss we will miss chicken girls actually you know you will miss them we will miss the cast we will miss the team song and all that we will miss that vibe that you know chicken girls has because each series of brad tv has its own vibe you get so that's just what this comment is trying to say but the world won't end again the world won't end if chicken girls end so that's just it anyway thank you so much guys for you know watching and if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos it's your, your subscription is all we need to keep going so please if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe if you like our videos and thank you so much guys for watching see ya